one bad game is probably easier to, 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 to swallow. What was what was it like trying to get over that second bad game? I mean, we watched the film. We saw what we did wrong, and we saw what we corrected. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of going out there and playing this week, this this practice tomorrow, going out there, going out there and executing, and we'll be fine. You guys still have the same fire you did a month ago? Yeah, mm -hmm. we do. Same. I mean, just mental errors, um, getting the eyes in the right spot, things that can really just be corrected. How much of it has to do with learning new things? I mean, you're, you're doing some things differently than you did a year ago. Um, how much of it has to do with that? Uh, no, nah, it's just a matter, of, like I say, going out there and doing what you know how to do, um, what we've been taught how to do. Um, we got a great, we got a great coordinator, we got a great screen, we got a great team. So just going out there and executing. We don't see you guys blitzing as much as a year ago. Does some of that have to do with your opponents get the ball out quickly and, and maybe that doesn't make sense to blitz them? No, it's just uh, we choose to do different things in different situations. And, um, we just got to go out there and execute them for them to be successful. How important is this game to team morale? I mean, our team morale is good. Uh, we can still accomplish everything we need get to accomplish. Uh, our goal is to go out and win the Big Ten, and we still got a chance to do that. So it's just a matter of going out there and, and executing like we know how. What have you guys learned from the mistakes of your losses that you're going to bring into this game? Um, you know, after a loss, uh, it's a real humbling experience. So it's just really just spending more time perfecting the craft and so when we go out there Saturday, it's no mistakes. What have you seen from Matt McGloin in the film that you've uh, seen at Penn State? Oh, he, he, he loves to take shots. Um, he's definitely been at Penn State a while, so he's a more experienced quarterback. And he can put the ball on the money. So we, we got to be prepared for that. Do you feel like he's kind of coming into his own in Coach O'Brien's offense after kind of struggling in his first couple games? Uh, I mean, you know, it's a new system. So <coughs> I don't know what's going on with that, but I mean, for, for what he's been asked to do, he does a pretty good job of it. You say he likes to take shots, you mean down the field? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do they throw the ball down the field maybe more than, than what you thought? Or? No, I mean, they uh, you know, they like to run the ball, and then they like to take the shot downfield. So that's a matter of uh, going out there and making plays when they need to be made. They told me that the, the guy from Penn State told me that it seems like they're their, their, their passing game has kind of taken two steps forward in, in the past couple of years. Have you seen enough to notice that? Uh, they've always, you know, ran the ball and passed the ball a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I think it brings a more pro-style offense to, to Penn State.